Hey folks, welcome back to painting a tent. I mean painting in a tent. I don't necessarily mean painting a tent in a tent. You pay tents in a tent? No, I don't pay tents in a tent, that's weird. On today's show, I'm gonna show you me, Arnold Nerdgeiser, a professional trick-or-treater for 30 years and artist of painting products amongst other arts. I'm also a professional DM. You can check out my thing at hobbitlovers93 dot uh, AOL dot com. Okay, so obviously if you're watching this show, you know that we all out there want to paint pictures of the Lord of the Rings. You want to paint. You came to the right guy to paint Lord of the Rings pictures. I mean, look at these things. Okay, you learn to paint this today on this episode. How about this? Yeah, pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. Everybody loves to paint their own Frodo. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, as you can see, um, I didn't actually paint these. These are print-offs from my computer. I mean, the Frodo wasn't even a painting. It was a photo of Elijah Woods in the costume of Frodo. First of all, the first thing you need is a canvas, okay? The next thing you need is your bag of paints, okay? So you just get a bag of fill it with paints and just paint brushes. Uh, you gotta get a couple of... Ah, uh, shoot! Come, Bertram! I said not the all the way full! Anyway, the next thing you need is you need something to go by. Today I'm painting the cover of the Fellowship of the Ring. I say I, but I mean we will be painting. But I will be, and mine's gonna look the best. And you need like one of those artsy partsy things that you hold up. You know, those things that Bob Ross uh, covered his missing finger with. So I have some cardstock here. Don't need two of those. And now I'm just gonna cut mine out. All for the love of art. And Frodo. Not done yet. We need to put in that little thumb hole. It looks like the egg of Smaug. Because we don't know if he came out of an egg or not. That's not said in the Gospel of Tolkien. So now we just have to put some paints on it. So uh, let's look at our image here. Uh, we need some green. That's the first thing. Just do whatever, whatever the most color is on there. If there's a lot of green, you just flop on some green on there. That's good. We don't want too much green. And you just grab a random brush and you just start painting. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to show you so we know what we're looking at. Okay. Uh, if you got like a camera phone or you got a Polaroid, you better take a picture of that so you can have one for yourself. Or if you have the movie. I have like 13 copies, so. We're gonna paint on his cloak, Frodo's cloak. Very important, okay? You know, I played a hob in a play once. It was uh, The Wizard of Oz. I was supposed to be a flying monkey, but I just came dressed as a hobbit. I thought that would be more something I would like to do. I played the character flawlessly, but it didn't go with the story very well. I grew up to see the wizard, and I was like, I'll take it to Mordor! So, you know, and that's enough green for that. Now, um, the next part we, uh, we got, okay, so let's put that up. Oh, look, that's, like, identical. But you may be like, wait a minute. It needs a bit more depth, so you got to add some shading. That's very important. Some shading, just black. Just add black of any color. Don't even have to mix it. Not important. Do okay, pet peeve of mine, sponge-tipped paintbrushes, okay? I used one of these when I was painting um, Still Life of Gandalf's Beard, and it just, it was blotchy. Oh, look, let me show you. It's like, that's... What? That's the, what is that? Actually, that actually works really well. Okay, I'm gonna shave with that then. Okay, don't bother mixing it. If it gets mixed, kind of like start over, because it'll mix as it dries. That's what paint does, you know. He has a very nice vest. I actually made my own replica. I knitted it. Um, Bertram what weaves his own wool, so I just bought some from him. This perfect brush. You know, just use any brush. If you run out of brushes, just buy some more. I never stop. That's what that's what I always told people. People always said, Arnold, one of these days you gotta stop dressing up like a freaking hobbit for Halloween and act your age. And I was like, I'm 24, I can do whatever I want. And if I want to dress up as a hobbit, it's a freak country. And if I want to dress up as a, dress up as a wizard, that's I'm it's not that I'm following your advice. I'm just doing what I want to do, okay? You know, I first read The Lord of the Rings when I was 12. I finished it two months ago. That's an infinity symbol meaning that Frodo will last forever. Frodo lives. Remember that, folks. But look, this is like picture perfect already. And we're not even done, okay? This is a bad brush. We don't want that anymore. Remember, you just pull, oh, I keep getting paint all over the freaking cover. I told you you got a smock, Bertram, honestly. 
Good thing I brought paper towels, paper napkins. Very important. So we got a little bit of a little chin here. Bertram, it's leaking. You know, if you do really good at this, you can make like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Or do concept art for the Lord of the Rings. I actually uh, submitted my work to do The Hobbit. They didn't accept any of it. They actually sent it back as ashes in a vanilla folder. Anyway, so you gotta put in the face. Now, uh, this is a mess. I don't need that anymore. I guess I did need the other piece of paper. I'm gonna cut this in the shape of Frodo. You know, with my painting skills, I tried to be a makeup artist for the Lord of the Rings, too. I sent in portfolio shots of my uh, Halloween costume. They didn't take that either. That's their loss. I don't know why they went with the curly wigs. That's what I never got. And Martin Freeman as Bilbo? He doesn't even look like a hobbit. I mean, he was good in Pulp Fiction, but whatever. So we finished our uh, little Frodo palette. See, it's perfect. Little, little thoughts for eyes. Now, this brush is kind of special because I use this for hair because it kind of looks like hair. <sighs> made in the USA, my butt cheeks. So stubborn, it was probably made in the Soviet Union. So now we got our brown paint all mixed up and ready to go. So now we gotta paint the hair. Bertram. Got his little Frodo fro. I'm gonna get up. Okay, let's compare. Which is the photo, am I right? Which is the photo? Obviously this one, because it's smaller, but... Now we gotta, now we gotta draw on the features, very important. Yeah. Bertram, did you pick off the dry paint? Your disappointment. What do we do with brushes? We dump them in. Okay. Don't act like you don't know. This has got a little sad mouth because he has to deal with the ring. I mean, that's about perfect, but we can't just paint Frodo. That's only one part of the thing. Now we gotta paint in uh, Sam and Mary and Pippin, Frodo's friends, because you know, every hobbit has to have a friend. I don't though. I don't need friends. Okay, I don't have any. Basically, this camera is my only friend. Bertram's running the camera, but he's not my friend. I don't want you borrowing my socks. You can't really see it very well. Your Polaroid might be able to catch it, but they're they're very small because Frodo is such a big man. He has a big burden to carry, so he, he's, which that's not according to the book. According to the book, the biggest Hobbit was actually Sandy Man. He was a mill. He was called Sandy Man the Mill, and he uh, turned turned the waters with his hands. Very powerful man. Kind of running out of brushes. This is kind of getting boring. It's just, that's good enough. Can you stand up straight? I mean, Frodo looks good. There, though, maybe maybe that will change my mind about everything. Ah! So have I been having it upside down the whole time? Ah! Come on! I mean, fur looks good, right? I mean, it's poop. Eyes poop. It's... That what? Who's who are they? Who are they, orcs? Pegs from the board game of life? They don't look like hobbits. Freaking stupid. Suck. Suck. Done with... Done. Done. Just, just close it down. 
Close down everything. I don't care. Hate everybody. I hate I hate you, Bertram. I hate anybody watching this show. Go suck an egg, you stupid freaking. That doesn't even look like freaking Frodo. Should have went to college. Can't go out that freaking way.